construction industry consumes millions of liters of fuel every year. The environmental requirements for construction projects are regularly tightened. The main focus is on minimizing the CO2 emissions, but good working environments and the ground pressure of large machines are also in focus in connection with large building projects. Given the rising fuel prices, every liter saved is interesting for the construction industry. The transport sector has focused on fuel economy for several years. Drivers have been given courses in economical driving techniques in order to save fuel. Sweden's Forestry Research Institute, called Skogforsk, has carried out experiments with four waters. These tests have shown that training even experienced operators in economical driving can reduce both fuel consumption and vibration level. Based on experiences from other industries, Hydrema has carried out a test in collaboration with the school Ulf Borg to find out if training operators of construction machines can help save fuel and at the same time improve the working environment by reducing vibrations. Two backhoe loaders were used for the experiment. A Hydrema 906 and the slightly larger model, the Hydrema 926. The experiment was carried out twice with four different operators. They were all skilled operators of backhoe loaders with between 7 and 25 years of experience. Three of them drive Hydrema machines on a daily basis, so they are all familiar with operating Hydrema backhoes. One of the operators is an independent contractor, one is employed in a large construction firm and the other two operate backhoe loaders for a local authority on a daily basis. Four instructors from the school observe the test to monitor the two machines and prepare responses for the operators. Three different tasks were carried out with the aim of moving a certain amount of material. The three tasks were trenching a 1.4 meter deep and 30 meter long trench, a 40 centimeter removal of overburden of a 60 square meter area, and loading a dump truck five times with a total of about 100 ton of gravel. trench dimensions were measured and when the dump truck was loaded the same number of shovelfuls was loaded every time. Before each task the amount of fuel was weighed and a vibration meter was mounted on the driver's seat. First the operators were instructed to complete the tasks as they usually would. The four instructors observed the tests, noted the time spent on each task and using laser equipment made sure that all the depths were exactly the same. Then the observers gave the operators information and suggestions for improvements. They discussed how the operator think about fuel economy on a day-to-day -day basis. The most important factor in economical driving is the mindset of the operator. But the machine's maintenance is also important. A machine that's well maintained and has clean filters uses its fuel better. Reducing the engine revs can help reduce fuel consumption. Modern construction machines have a high hydraulic capacity even at low revs. For example, in a normal excavation job, a Hydrema 926 can easily deliver both sufficient power and flow even at 1300 revs. Each time the front loader or excavator is lifted, energy is consumed. This energy doesn't return when the machine is lowered again. Lifting and moving the material as little as possible reduces fuel consumption. The way the shovel is used during digging can also have a significant impact on fuel consumption. The blade should always be at a right angle to the shovel when digging. 
Horizontal digging minimizes the risk of dosing earth, which is unnecessary. When digging correctly, there should be no more than a few centimeters of material in front of and around the shovel after a shovelful has been moved. To avoid vibrations during digging, it's important to support the machine with both stabilizers and by lowering the front shovel. If the stabilizers are not used, the machine will not be as stable and the number of vibrations will double. The stabilizers should not just touch the ground. They should carry so much of the load that the wheels are almost lifted off the ground. If the engine revs are reduced while moving, the bumps that occur when the machine is raised and lowered on the stabilizers will also be reduced. When using a front loader, the critical point is when the shovel is dug into the pile of gravel. It's important to drive slowly towards the pile and increase the revs when the machine meets resistance. If the machine's momentum is used to dig into a pile of gravel, it will result in abrupt braking that will cause jolts to the operator. To save fuel, unnecessary wheel slips should be avoided when loading. After instruction, and with the advice they have been given in mind, the operators completed each task again. The engine revs were reduced during trenching and removal of overburden, and the operators focused on driving smoothly and taking the shortest possible route. During the two digging tasks, the average saving on fuel was 18% and the vibration level were reduced by an average of 24%. Most of the tasks took a little longer to complete. The greatest single saving on fuel during a digging task was 36%. The vibrations were reduced by 14% during this task, which was completed 4% faster. This suggests that with training and focus on economical and ergonomic driving, it is possible to improve the working environment and fuel economy without significantly affecting productivity. During loading, the fuel save was more modest, 7%. But the loading tasks were carried out in the same time and with a 21% reduction of vibrations. Apart from the potential fuel savings and reduced fatigue on the operator, fewer vibrations will also mean less wear and tear on the machine. In the long run, this will also mean lower service costs.